Hi there, I'm Andy. Welcome to our buyer's guide to pinball machines. Now I'm a big pinball fan myself. I've got a couple of machines at home. So I'm really looking forward to taking you through choosing the best machine for you and your family and friends to use. I'll take you through uh, whether you want to be buying a brand new machine or whether you'd like to be buying a second hand machine. And I'll take you through all the top brands as well. So we've got machines here from Stern, for example, from Bally and from Williams, who made some great machines back in the 90s. And then right up to the present day with a new company called Jersey Jack that have made this fantastic machine called the Wizard of Oz. So stay tuned and I'll take you through everything you need to know. OK, so let's start looking at brand new pinballs first. There are two main manufacturers, Stern and Jersey Jack, both based in the States. Stern Pinball was started in 1999 when they bought Sega's pinball division. Jersey Jack have now joined the market, bringing out their first machine in 2013. So let's look at Stern first of all. Having been the sole manufacturer of pinballs during the first decade of the 21st century, they have to be given credit for keeping pinball alive. All of their games have been based on licenses. Over the last three years they've produced Iron Man, Avatar, Tron, Transformers and Avengers, which you see here. Their games are designed by industry legends such as George Gomez and Steve Ritchie who have been behind some of the best pinballs ever made. Stern's pinballs generally come in three versions. Firstly the Pro version which is the base least expensive model aimed at the commercial market. Then the premium versions such as the Lucy version of ACDC that you see here with added features such as the Underworld Playfield. And finally, the top of the range limited editions, which come with all the extras and are designed for the home collector market. These machines normally sell out very quickly, as soon as they're launched. This is the latest model from Stern, Star Trek, on display in our showroom. We use this machine for our How to Play Pinball series, filmed with UK pinball champion Craig Pullin, where he shows us how to improve our game. These targets here, one, two, three, those three targets there are like your lock, okay? So as you saw, I hit the one, two, three, and then this lock here. So check out our How to Play Pinball section on our website for tons of tips, tricks, and advice. So let's take you through Stern's current range available at the time of filming. First up, we've got the pro version of ACDC, and then the premium version. And finally, we have the Lucy edition of the premium model that we looked at earlier on. And another musically inspired pinball, uh, which is Metallica. First of all, the pro version. And then this is the premium version. And finally, we have Star Trek. First of all, the pro version that we saw briefly earlier on. And then again, Star Trek in the premium edition. Due out shortly is Mustang, celebrating 50 years of Ford's legendary muscle car. Full details of the differences between the different editions can be found on our website or on stern.com. So now on to Jersey Jack and Wizard of Oz. Jersey Jack were founded to fill a gap they saw in the industry for premium no compromise pinball machines. They upped the spec massively, employing a 26 inch HD LCD monitor in the back box, lots of mechanical toys as they're known, two mini play fields, LED lighting and digital stereo sound. The model you see here is the Emerald City Limited Edition version. The latest limited edition is the Ruby, marking the 75th anniversary of Wizard of Oz. It sports this gorgeous deep red livery along with additional playfield adornments such as Toto and the Whirlwind. Jersey Jack's next game will be The Hobbit, due to land in the summer of 2014 to coincide with the third and final part of the movie franchise. There are other new machines also on the horizon from new manufacturers. Full Throttle comes from Highway Pinball who are based in the UK in South Wales. It doesn't have a confirmed release date yet, but it does have an LCD screen built into the playfield. Next we have a remake of the highly rated Medieval Madness which was first made in 1997. The new version is being made under license and only a thousand are being made. Okay, so moving on to reconditioned and vintage machines. 
Here you see the great Elvis machine which was released in 2004. This machine has been used commercially but has been reconditioned as you can see here it's in stunning condition. It features a whole host of goodies on the playfield including the Heartbreak Hotel, a hound dog and Elvis himself plus 12 genuine Elvis soundtracks. All the used Stern games make really good purchases, particularly if you're a fan of the license, but we always recommend playtesting the game first to make sure you actually enjoy playing it. On to vintage now, and here we recommend looking at games from the 90s. Williams were the undisputed leaders in the pinball world, having purchased Bally Midway in 1988. They produced some of the most awesome pinball machines ever made during the 90s. It all started with the Adams Family, which you see here, released in 1992. It sold a record 20,000 units. They released hit after hit with great gameplay and innovation. Some games weren't based on licenses, such as Circus Voltaire, which you see here. Only 2,700 were made in 1997 and are now very sought after. Another example is Theatre of Magic, which is also very collectible. 6,600 units of this one were made. And lastly, Monster Bass, which was made in 1998, with just 3,300 being produced, and features Frankenstein, Dracula and Creature from the Black Lagoon. Okay, so let's summarise by going through the pros and cons and some really useful resources for you to research. Firstly, let's look at the pros for buying a new pinball. They come brand new in the box, so they're minty fresh. They have no wear or cosmetic damage. And they're far more reliable than the really old pre-90s pinballs, but you still can find the odd issue with balls getting stuck and the like, so expect the odd teething problem, but nothing major. And for the cons. For some people, they just don't play as well as the classics from Williams in the 90s. But there are some really great machines to be had nevertheless. Do your research, read reviews and find machines to try out first if you're not sure. Brand new machines can be pricey so set aside around £5,000 for a pro version with premium and limited edition ones costing six or £7,000 plus. So on to reconditioned and vintage. There are great games to be had. Look out for the Bally Williams games from the 90s and don't be put off if you've never heard of the game before. It's not all about the license. If you buy right, they could and should go up in value. With few games being made, they're getting rarer and rarer with collectors picking up the best ones. Good Pinball will appreciate more than the stock market and definitely better than the Bank of England base rate. Plus you have fun at the same time. And finally, I find old pinballs endearing. Wonderful pieces of design with great gameplay, fantastic twinkly lights and engaging sound effects and speech. And for the cons, reliability can be an issue, except you may get the odd problem and you won't be disappointed. Parts can be bought online for pretty much any game. Due to their life starting in use commercially, some machines may have cosmetic damage. Also the playfield may be worn in places, but protectors can be bought. These are called cliffies. Again, search online for what you need or give us a shout and we'll help you out. Good ones are tough to find, but be patient and the right game may well come along. We have a great range available on our website, but keep an eye on eBay and owners forums for your game of choice. Now for some resources for your research. The Internet Pinball Database has info on all the pinballs made, so you'll find everything you need on here. They also list the top player rated games seen here on the right. They are split by the more recent SS Solid State games and older EM Electromechanical ones advice is to stick with the SS games. They're more recent, play better and are more reliable and easier to find parts for. Pinballnews.com is also a great resource for the latest news on new releases. They have excellent in-depth reviews on all the new games as soon as they come out. Next then is Pinside.com which is an excellent website. A real community site with loads of info and player feedback on their thoughts on games. The Pinside Top 100 is a great place to seek out the best pinballs to look out for. 
Okay, so I hope our buyer's guide has got you excited about buying a new pinball machine or maybe even a second-hand one. If you need some more help and advice, though, please pop into our showroom. We can take you through the machines that we've got here. Uh, or you can always give us a call or drop us an email for some more information. Thanks a lot for watching.